Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do our 35 minute power walk and this is for improved health and fitness. So are you ready to get fit and healthy with me? That is great. Okay, let's get going. Let's get warmed up first. So I'm just starting off now with a nice walk here, just getting the body into that walking mode. Good, and we drive those arms by our side. Now while we march away here to get warm, I'm just going to tell you about today's workout. We have our 2040 sequence today, so 20 walks. 40 will be our, a different exercise, okay, just to keep it interesting for your mind and your muscles. And uh, of course you can always increase your walking time if you want to use the walk as active rest because there is no really rest, so to speak, today. So again, you can always march out for 30 seconds and just do 30 seconds of the um, opposite exercise or the full body exercises, okay? So that's a way you can decrease the intensity of this workout if you like. Let's crisscross now in front. Good, so we're going to do 15 exercises along with all our walking. Then we're going to have a little water break and then we're going to come back and repeat, and repeat it again, okay? And... Uh, there's lots of variety now in the second portion of the, the full body moves as well. That'll keep your muscles guessing because that's how we progress by keeping the muscles guessing. Let's punch out the ceiling. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> punch and punch. Punch. Keep those legs going for me. <coughs> Reach up really high. That's it. Now if you can only do a little punch, just decrease your range of movement here partial reps you're still going to be feeling those shoulders reach up reach and pull down good that's it five to go four keep the legs moving for me three two and one now keep the legs marching we're going to change the legs up we're going to kick and kick kick now we're waking up the back of the thighs there the hamstrings that's it good let's punch out Punch, punch, punch. That's it. You can add a little bit of a bounce there. You don't have to jump though. Good. Breathe for me now. Let's hear that breathing. And you've got a slight bend in that supporting leg as the other leg kicks out. That's it. Good. Got some uh, combination or hybrid moves coming up as well here with this workout. That's to keep that brain ticking over. Good keep you in tune with your workout and it also helps to keep you in tune with how the muscles function okay and that's good you don't want to be just going through the motions with your workouts because they soon become very they quickly become very stale that's it punch out good ten more nine eight seven six five four three two one now open the legs wide and we're just going to stretch across and we're just going to wake up those sleepy tummy muscles. That's it. Reach, reach. Good. <clears throat> nice big stretch across for me. If you can't go over your head, just bring it down in front of your chest here. Or even down in front of your tummy. That is perfect. Reach and reach. Good work. Come on, you can do this. Tap out that floor. That's it. Great. Let's do 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now we are just gonna go straight into our stationary walks. And when we are walking, it's good to warm up those calf muscles. Good work. Run your arms by your side. That's great. Should be feeling a little bit of heat coming into the lower part of the body now. That's wonderful. It's always nice to have toasty feet. Good work, especially in these cold mornings here. That's it. It's a morning workout for me. I like to work out first thing in the day and then just get on with the day. I know that's not possible for everybody, but Good, okay, now let's get going. I want you to march there because we are starting with the 20 second walk. Then we're gonna go into step touch 
and then we'll do two arms front raise okay step touch front raise there's a lot of stepping type moves today to help you increase your your actual steps in the day all right let's get going now we're starting straight away so keep going with your walk okay and then we're into 40 seconds of step touch and front raise now you can be very inventive with your walks when you're working out at home there's lots of things you can do that you may not do outside so we'll add a few of those in throughout this workout today okay all right now let's go step touch step touch this is a form of walking it's just lateral walking really isn't it and you're bringing in the upper half that's it great so you're working your tummy muscles here a little bit more than you would if you were just walking because the body is detecting instability with how the limbs are moving that's it so it switches on your core good and i want you to squeeze squeeze let's feel some action going on in the front of those shoulders there good work nearly done with minute one already good reach up reach great let's walk it out again now i forgot to say if you want to pick up some dumbbells go ahead even for the walking portion that is great that'll add some intensity to your workout today let's drive those arms now good oh sidestep we're doing sidestep next with snow angel sorry i forgot to tell you we're just stepping out to the side and there you go sidestep sidestep good now get your arms ready and we're just going to that snow angel move if you can picture that when you were a child out in the, the snowy weather Good. this is a great mobility exercise for your shoulders your trunk there i understand it's quite intense so a little range of movement if you can't reach your arms over your shoulder stepping out to the side working those inner and outer thighs that's it good and all the while we are increasing the heart rate particularly with these arms above the head a few seconds left back to walking you keep walking i'll show you the move because i might forget so this one is a hybrid move so we're going to do a leg curl and punch the ceiling for three and then we're going to push our hands down a knee raise <clears throat> for the second por por portion of the hybrid move okay so let's go leg curl punch the ceiling for three knee raise push down for three three and three good one two three one two three we're staying on the same leg here with the leg curl and knee raise and we'll switch it around for the next move okay after the walk two three one work your tummy come on feel those abs working one two three one two three that's it punch for two and three down two three and again okay there we go let's walk and then switch around to the other leg so take note of what leg you're feeling there the hamstring there for me in my right leg <clears throat> okay so it's left leg hamstring curl let's power up this walk again good keep breathing for me okay let's go so one two three and opposite leg two three that's it punch two three good one two three stretching out your abs here as you reach up and then crunching your abs here as the knee raise comes into it good one two three and one two three one two three good keep going one two three that's it two and three and there we go okay we'll go back to our walking let's do a little br a brisk walk this time you can add a tiny little hop if you like it's only for 20 seconds i'm still keeping it low impact here anyway next move though you keep going is a side step or you can shuffle and then into pendulum i'm going to hang out here now side step pendulum as we get here good that's it pendulum over we go now if you want to bring up the pace a little bit you can add a little hop and kick the leg out and out good and out good and kick out 
practice. And out you go. And kick, feel that outer hip muscle working there, glute medius. Great exercise for the glute med. Okay, let's walk again. And keep walking. We're gonna walk up a steep hill now. That's it, good. All right, now we are going to do some Y knee raises. So hands out wide, like a Y, the letter Y, and then you're drawing that knee across to meet your hand, okay? So it's great for the obliques. Let's go. One, squeeze. Great tummy work creeping in here today. That's it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze out your abs there, particularly your oblique. Slow this one down, slow it down. Let's feel as the knee drives across. They have to be engaging that transversus abdominis, your TA, that muscle that lies in around your belly button, it wraps around to your lower back like a corset. Squeeze, pull your belly button to your spine and be contracting that muscle then. Good. And there you go. That's a bit of a shoulder burn there, especially if you've used weights. Let's rest out a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to show you the next one because time goes fast. Squat down and then into some modified curtsies. Okay, so squatting down, don't worry about touching the floor, just reach your hands in that area. Let's join in here now with me. Down, one, two. Down, one, two, good. Chest up, tailbone down as always. Good, don't let your chest fall. Good, one, two. You can put your hands behind your head and just do a little squat and step behind you. If you find your chest is falling too much with the hands reaching down, good. Just go prisoner style like this and then step back. This is getting the heart rate up. Very bouncy move. And there you go. Let's walk again. Good. Taking some air for me. Seven minutes gone. Right, now we are going to do some two low jumping jacks, two knee raises, and here's some ab work coming again today. All right, next move. Feel those tummy muscles. Okay, one, two, one, two, good. Reach out, reach out, crunch, crunch, that's it. One, two, crunch, crunch, that's it, good work. Crunch, crunch. So you should feel your tummy muscles working as that knee drives up to your belly button. Good, you can do a light little C curve like you would do on, a f on down on the floor. Just a slight curve to really engage the tummy muscles. Good, keep going. Come on, reach out for two. And there you go, okay. Walk, now another hybrid move. I better get going with it. Three, sorry, four leg repeaters. So four there, and then four stationary walk, and we are staying on the same leg because there's a lot going on here on one side. All right, I'll get a little bit of a walk in here. Okay, leg repeater, one, two, three, four, and then one, and two, three, and four, and again, one, two, three, four, you feeling those glutes working, one, two, three, four, good. You'll feel that standing leg for sure. Three, four, good. One, two, three, four, that's it. One, two, three, four, and step forward and back. Two, three, four, come on, get some repeaters in. There we go, well done. Walk and then the other side, okay? That's it. Marching away, nice big knee raise here, pretending I'm climbing up a hill. Good, get ready now for those leg repeaters and stationary walks. Let's go, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and again, one, two, three, four, good, one, two, three, Four, come on, drive that knee up. Feel your abs working again. One, two, three, 
four. Oh, I'm really feeling the burn in that leg that's not moving. Good, slight bend in your stationary leg. Two, three, four, and again, come on, one, two, three, four. Good work, okay, shake out that leg. Well done. Okay, let's go back to walking. Be glad of a rest here, somewhat active rest. Next move, you keep going. One, two, three, and then we're switching for two and three. So sidestep, punching out for three. Okay, let's go with that. One, two, three, good. One, two, three. More inner and outer thigh work here. Good, one, two, three, two, three. Great, one, two, three, Whew. two, three. You're feeling those inner and outer thighs. Yes, definitely. Punch out, that's it. Come on, keep going. Less than 10 seconds. Change, two, three, and over. One, two, three, good. Just there now. Well done, okay, let's walk out. Next one is a basic heel dig, like a skip type move, or sorry, toe tap even. And then you're just gonna twist the rope, okay? Like you have an imaginary rope. You can take it up into a higher impact move if you prefer. Okay, the option is there. Low impact, you can do heel or toe, whatever you like. If you're gonna change it up into higher impact, go onto your toes. Keep off your heels. And just even gentle skip here. There you go, nice and light on your feet. Good work. This will just spike up that heart rate a little bit more for you. Good, that's a good way to introduce a more intense way to train, okay? But not putting too much volume on the muscles. Volume equals a lot of recovery time, so just be aware of that. Okay, well done. Great work, walk again. Now you might be glad of a light little walk and now if you've been jumping there. Okay, next one, knee crosses the body for two. Push down for two. So I'm bringing some abs back in again, okay? Let's get ready to go any second. Here we go, one, two, push down, push down. This is all tummy. Good, push down. Now watch your spine because you are twisting here. So you need to be, again, contracting those muscles in around your tummy. So your transversus abdominis comes into play here, very much so. One, two, good, cross, cross, one, two, that's it, cross the body, cross the body. One, two, some hamstring work coming up after our walk. Next, okay. Let's get the walk in first. All right. If you want to, you can take this into a little jog. Okay, no harm there. Or stay with your marches. Pretend you're climbing up a very steep incline. <clears throat> now we've got some leg kickouts, hamstrings. After the walk or jog, whatever you're doing, then they're going to punch out, okay? Oh, there we go. That 20 seconds goes fast. Kick, kick, punch, punch, punch. That's it, good. Can bring up nice and high if you can without arching the back. Try that, or not falling for over. <laughs> Good, punch. Can add a little kind of bounce here. Use the elasticity of the muscles to bring in your intensity up a little bit or your pace up. Good, move off the spot. These are all ways you can increase or progress your workouts. That's it, punch out. Punch, 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 good work. Okay, now we're on to, well, we walk first and then we're on to move 15, okay? Which are, again, low jacks. This time the arms coming up above the head and then out in front, okay? So two and out in front for two, all right? A little bit of brain teaser on the legs, the next one. One, two, one, two, good. Uh, as the arms come out in front, the legs want to do the same thing, and I'm really res trying to resist stepping forward. But if you're doing that, that's fine. If you're stepping to the front with the arms, because the, uh, the legs naturally want to do what the arms are doing. That's it. Now we're gonna have a little break here after this. 
little drink of water, hydrate, and come back and go back to step touch, walk and step touch. Good, reach, reach, good, out in front, out in front, reach and reach. Okay, well done. Now let's just stop our beepers <clears throat> and we'll grab a drink of water, hydrate our bodies and I will see you back here in a moment. Okay, you're very welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that little break. Let's get going now with round two. So we're going to start off with a walk and then we'll go into the step touch. Okay, let us go. Walk it out again. Now I'll get my walks in this round because you're, you know what's coming up now. Okay, I'm going to walk up my steep incline. Drive those arms nice and strong. Good. Okay, now let's go step touching, step touching. And a front raise, front raise. Good. That's it. Feeling the shoulders working. Inner and outer thighs. Great. Move off the spot here as well. There's lots of options for you. Use your space there you have. Good. Watch out for any obstacles around you. And reach and reach. Reach up. Good. Reach and reach. So our sidestep and snow angel is paired off with the next walk. Okay, the next minute two of round two. That's it. Keep going just there. Well done. Good. We're going to get our heart rate up a little higher now this round. Naturally, it does come higher because you are not allowing the heart rate to come down or rest really much at all. So it'll go up and up and up until you're finished. Okay, side step. That's it, step out. Now, this won't bring the heart rate up. No question about it. If it's too much for you, do a little, little move like this, a little range of movement. Reach above your head. Reach, reach. Good work. Keep breathing for me. Let's hear those big deep breaths and breathe it out through your pursed lips. Keep that blood full of oxygen. Good. Reach up. Come on, you can do it. You're doing great. Come on. Stay with it. You can speed up or slow down, however you're feeling. Okay. Well done. Let's take it into a walk again. Jog if you like. Take it up into a little jog. Good. It's only for 20 seconds, so the intervals are short. Now we have that leg curl punching the ceiling for three and the opposite knee raise for three, staying on that one side. Okay, leg curl. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Great. One, two, three. Push down for two, three. Good. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. Great work. One, two, three. Drive down, drive that knee up. That's it. One, two, three. And one, two, and three. There we go. You're feeling those tummy muscles working? Yes, we've the other side to do now after our little walk here. Brisk walk. Come on. That's it. Go as fast as you can or slow it right down. Nice and gentle on your toes. Get ready for leg curls for three. Good. Oh, leg curl, yeah. And punch. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. One. Punch out for three. And crunch. Two, three. Keep your trunk upright now here, particularly this portion here. Two, three, the second part of it. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Good. One, two, three. And crunch. Two, three. That's it. Come on, we're nearly there. Two, three. And one, two, and three. Good. Let's go for a walk again. That's it. That was a good one. Okay, now we're going to shuffle or sidestep it. Whatever you prefer. You can sidestep. We can get going now if you like. We're nearly there anyway. Sidestep and then into your pendulum, okay? 
over you go pendulum now you need a lot of space with this one all right because you are kicking your leg out to the side good kick and you can take it up into a little shuffle or hop there if you don't mind a small bit of impact but if you like to keep your workouts low impact just sidestep it across that's it kick and over we go kick and kick it out and kick and kick good work a few seconds left that's it okay make your way back and we'll walk now we've got those y knee raises wide wide arms but the, it's the letter y and hopefully we look like a y anyway all right that's coming next get ready for this one big arms for me okay and 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 down crunch come on let's feel those abs working again down cross that knee over the body working the obliques good stretch for the glutes there yes if you don't notice that you're getting a good dynamic stretch for your backside here good it's crunch 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 you can really just gently bring your rib cage down to your hip area or your knee coming up and you'll really feel it there when you do that okay let's walk again heart rates elevated there for those wide arms those big arms over the head now this is our squat down towards the floor and two but curtsy lunges or go into a curtsy if you want okay so squat down you can go into the curtsy with the knee goes down towards the floor if you like or you can keep it at just going step back okay a modified curtsy that's it good down remember now if your chest is falling too far forward put your hands behind your head and go into prisoner prisoner squats and drop good one and two and drop tailbone down to the floor chest is up high good and we'll finish it out here great let's walk or jog whatever you like skip even if you want to do a light little skip that's fine good work we're on to move eight now <clears throat> two low jacks two knee raises so we're back to really focusing on tummy work again okay one two one two that's it step out step out crunch crunch come on keep breathing for me get that air in it's really important that'll keep you going for your the duration of your workout that's it good crunch crunch reach out working those shoulders that middle shoulder again those lateral raises good crunch nice big full body moves here hitting all those muscle groups in a short time that's it good reach reach crunch crunch and there we go okay keep walking well done now we have that leg repeater for four and forward and back walking for four that's stationary type walk where you're sort of held on the spot okay let's go i'm gonna go yeah this direction first because i did the la the other direction around one okay one two three four now one two three four and again one two three four do you notice you're feeling your abs working again particularly with the leg repeater one two three four yeah one two three four good one two three four good work come on keep going two three four and again one two three and four okay remember what leg you worked there because we have to do the next the other side after this 20 second interval come on let's go fast if you can that's it last few seconds get ready now other side leg repeater stationary walks there we go one 
two, three, four, good, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, good, one, two, three, four, good, one, two, three, four, good, one, two, three, and four, come on, drive, for two, three, four, and walk it, one, two, three, four, just there, get these repeaters in, two, three, and four, well done, that's exhausting, that exercise, okay, I'm glad of a walk here, to recover, now we have our alternating side step for three with the punch out and then switching sides for three, okay? Catch your breath here, good. All right, one, two, punch out, come on, give me some power in those punches. Make every rep count here. Two, three, that's it, good. And three, and other side, two, three, switch, two, three, that's it, one, two, three, good, one, two, three, one, two, and three, should be feeling those inner thighs working here as well, good, two, you can take up the tempo if you want, but not so much, you're not actually feeling the muscles working, you can, you can go too fast as well, I think, all right, now, heel digs or toe taps, this is your skipping, you have an option here of doing high, or low impact, if you want, okay, oh, we're walking now, aren't we, that's it, good, <clears throat> any second, all right, so you can pretend you have a rope, keep it low impact, slight bend in the knee, or you can take it up into an actual skip if you want to, good, keep your head held high here and your abs engaged, that's it, good, Feel that heart rate increasing a little bit more. Good work. Gentle toe to toe. Last 10 seconds. Good work, keep going. Any second now. And there you go. Okay, walk it out again. Now those knee crosses are coming. One and two and then down for two, okay, that's the next move. So a little bit more obliques coming up for you. In the meantime, we'll just walk for the last few seconds. There we go, knee, knee, drive, down, good, one, two, some standing abs, coming in here, one, two, down, down, good, one, two, now again, whew, down, down, if you just slightly bring your trunk towards that moving leg, just make sure that your abdominals are engaged. Good, that you're not just letting it all hang out in the wind, so to speak. You're engaging. One, two, good. One, two, crunch and crunch. Good work. Well done, let's walk again. Now we have our leg kick outs coming next and punch out in front. Walk up this steep hill here. That's it, determined to get to the top. Good, driving up. Okay, kick, 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 kick. You can add that little bounce here again if you want to increase intensity into your work, your workout, good. Punch, you can even punch the ceiling if you want. Now that, you may feel the lower back there with the leg kicking forward like that and the arms above the head. So just stay in tune with your body. How is it feeling? This is definitely gonna make it harder, punching above your head. You're getting like a bit more breathless than punching out in front. You can always mix between punching out in front and punching over your head. That's it, good. <clears throat> now we are on to our last move. I always find the second round goes so fast. Okay, the low jacks with the arms above the head for two, out in front for two. Finishing up today, gonna to do a light little run for the last few seconds. Okay, one, 
two, let's bring in those arms now, one, two, out in front, one, two, one, two, those legs want to go forward again, one, do you feel like that, when the arms go forward, one, I have to be very conscious of stepping out to the side and not to the front, one, two, one, two, good, last moves today, come on, let's get finish out strong, reach, reach, good, out, out, one, two, out, out, and one, and two, and we know what that means, yes, it means you've made it to the end of your workout, and you've done really, really well, great work, great work, hope you're feeling nice and energized, it's a lovely, lovely feeling when you, your exercise perks you up, mind and body, now I will link up my cool down playlist for you in the description box below the video, just in case you're not aware <clears throat> oh, that it's there, that they're there for you. About six of them there now, so lots of variety there and lots of mobility exercises as well. And like I was saying, I, I actually spend more time now these days since I've got into my 50s now and I'm close to 51 now. I, have, uh, I spend more time on my mobility than I do doing static stretches. I did static stretches for years and I never really, I got a little bit of a progression out of it but nothing significant for all the time I was putting in and then it wasn't until really I started mixing them with mobility exercises where you're flowing through each move and you're keeping your spine mobile and you're keeping your, your hips and your inner thighs mobile that I found change started to come into my body. So for me, I don't know why everyone's different but I, I like spending more time on a flow rather than statically holding stretches, okay? But uh, anyway, they're there for you. They're there for your convenience. And um, I do really recommend that you spend time just relaxing your body, bringing everything back down. And it's also a form of meditation. I always think cool downs are a form of meditation. You feel good after your workout. You're in a nice relaxed state and it's a good time. Your body's warm, there's heat produced in your muscles. So it's not only is it good for your, your mind, but it's also safe for your muscles as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. You did a wonderful job. Keep yourselves hydrated as always. Let those muscles recover. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.